how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. Thank you as always for over 500 likes on the last episode my friends. I very much do appreciate it. If we could keep it up with that as a bit of a light goal for this series, that would be absolutely beautiful. But of course, if you want to go one further with your support, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off any of my Apex gaming PCs. So then, in the last episode, we created this whopping great array of refining forges and we've currently got 10 out of our total of 20 refining forges currently on the go now here's the thing my friends here's the thing you can actually get a fairly decent amount of metal out of the uh, river rocks so the first thing i want to do today is see just how much metal we can actually get out of these here river rocks here so what we got 44 and then we've got 55 and then we've got 90 a hundred i mean it just seems to be a kind of similar amount that you would get from just mining it up with a pickaxe so uh yeah we don't get the highest amount of metal but we certainly do get a decent amount of metal you know i'm not going to complain about it so there we are seven out of 16 of the forges here are now up and going and basically i'm going to periodically get more metal and get more of these things up and going because the more we have going the faster we're going to get metal lingots and the faster we get metal lingots the faster we'll be able to get an industrial forge which would be an absolutely amazing goal to go for my friends it really would so let's continue on shall we there's a whole bunch more river rocks here let's get ourselves some more metal but then also in today's episode i wouldn't mind trying to get myself a whole bunch of cryopods and additionally Baby Tamer Baryonyx. A lot of you guys probably know by now if you've watched my previous arc series. Baryonyx are one of my favorite tames in the entire game because those guys are fantastic as cave dwellers. Oh, yes, they are. So, if we can find ourselves a level 100 plus Baryonyx, we are going to tame it immediately, my friends. But also, maybe it will give us an opportunity to give the bear traps a go as you guys were mentioning in the comment of the day in one of the previous episodes all right so if we pop in here real quick check it out we do indeed have some bear traps we're going to make ourselves two of them or maybe a third one actually yeah let's go for a nice three and then we'll bring them with us of course and then we'll see if we can't get the baryonics to get trapped in there and then we can pummel it to heck with our trank arrows. Check it out, my friends. It turns out we can make a baryonic saddle straight off the rip here, requiring 355, 225 hide, and 25 metal ingots. Yeah, baby. Things are looking good already, my friends. In terms of preparations, we're looking good. If we're going to be going for the goal of getting cryopods, we are going to need a bunch of metal, okay? So I think what we need to do is quickly remind ourselves of how to make the cryopods. We need crystal fiber, hide, metal, oil, polymer. Polymer is something we do not have. I think what we're going to go ahead and do is enable resource harvesting on this guy here, okay? And I think we're going to go into the snow biome and pummel a bunch of penguins. That's probably going to be the easiest way for us to get ourselves a bunch of polymer. Although, I just remembered you can actually make polymer. Um, yeah, it's made out of fabricator, requires cementing paste and obsidian. Believe it or not, the cementing paste is actually the limiting factor. So I guess while I'm going ahead and uh, seeing about getting myself a bunch of organic polymer, we can get ourselves some regular polymer as well. Alrighty, the question is, how much polymer can we make? Uh, 136? Sure, that's actually pretty decent, my friends. But I'm still going to go for a bit of a polymer trip as well. So bear with me. I'm going to go kill some penguins. That sounds really bad, but uh, yeah, I need the polymer, okay? Sorry. Of course, we do have a little bit of a time limit with this because, of course, we are sort of freezing half the time and our health is very, very, very slowly but surely draining away. So, the quicker we get this thing done, the better things are going to be, okay? So, let us see if we can find ourselves a bunch of penguins. I did just see a few of them down here. Hey, buddies! How's it hanging? Y'all are gonna die. I'm sorry, buddy. You gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so bad, isn't it? It's so bad, but I need the polymer, dude. <laughs> I feel so terrible, man. Oh, dear. All right. Well, the good news is, of course, we are indeed getting the polymer. So, you know, there's only so much we can 
feel bad about, eh? There we are. Bunch more for your boy. Wait, you get prime meat from those guys? Wow, that's a bit of a turn up. I had no idea. Oh man, does it sound blowy around here, man? It's still only minus six though, so our health is actually not going down that quick. Uh, huh. How are there no penguins around here, bro? I'm very confused. Maybe they're up the top here? Uh, no. Oh, a red loot beam. That's pretty poor, if you ask me. Yeah! Penguin Island, ladies and gentlemen. Sweet Lord, there's a lot of these guys here. Hey, buddy. Hi. I'm sorry. Maybe eventually I could tame like a breeding pair and have a bit of a polymer farm back at base. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I feel like that'd be a good way to go, you know? Have ourselves a penguin farm. I think that'd be amazing. Oh, hey. There was an explorer note there, and I had absolutely no idea. Huh. All right. Pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> oh, now that the temperature's plummeting a little bit, minus nine Celsius. Uh, yeah, our health is starting to drain away a little bit more. We're about two-thirds health now, my friends. So what I feel like we should do is grab this red loot beam and then maybe head on back to base. Oh, that is such a bad-looking area. Oh. All right, we're going to have to be quick about this. Oh, no! No! I can't tell what's going on anymore. I can't tell what's going on anymore. Uh, buddy, buddy, I'm gonna need you to calm down and come over here, son. Come on, come over here. That's it, that's it. There we are. Now we ride away into the sunset. Well, even though there's not really a sunset. Anyway, let's get away from here. This is a bad area. I didn't even get a chance to see what I got. Let's have a look here. What do we get? Gilly boots. Okay, we've got ourselves a shark saddle, the megalodon saddle, and a holoscope attachment. You know what? From a red loot beam, that is actually very disappointing loot. Hey guys, look, it's a new tyrant. It's, it's level 120 as well. Wow. That guy might be worth trying to tame later on in the series when we start our prep work for the Broodmother boss. Because the Utyranus is capable of boosting the damage of a whole bunch of dudes at the same time. Oh, hey, another explorer note. Sure, I'll take it. Do we have a level up? No, we almost have a level up. But yeah, we have now gotten to the point where it requires so much XP to rank up these guys that it just sort of isn't worth it anymore. It might just be worth saving our XP and Explorer notes for other creatures that actually need it. But anyways, the fact of the matter, guys, is this. We now have rather a lot of organic polymer, and that is going to put an end to our polymer woes for a little while. Alrighty, guys, so I've been here at base just trying to collect a bunch of resources together to make the biopods, all right? So all we have to do now is pop on up to the attic here, uh, to which I hope I will find a bunch of oil. Oil in any of these? Oh, no. I don't think we got any oil, guys. Wait. How have we not got oil? Okay. Well, it turns out we might have to use our little breedery for once, eh? All right. Come on, then. Let's get this breedery up and going. Uh, behavior, enable mating. Behavior, enable mating. It's times like this, though, my friends, where I really wish I had the chainsaw available. It would have been unlocked at level 55, and the reason you get it is because it is by far the best tool to be harvesting tech dinos with. But hey, hey, my friends, we are playing with the cards that we've been dealt. It's just how it is, so let's go ahead and do things the old-fashioned way. I guess we'll have to use a hatchet. Maybe that's the best way of getting oil. Alrighty, down goes the fertilized egg -oo. and is it being incubated? Yes, it is. All right. Hey, buddy. How's it hanging? All right. Now we play the waiting game. The good news is it doesn't take that long with my current settings here. So, uh, yeah, we'll have oil in no time. All right. Two ways of mining up oil. First of all, of course, we need to kill this poor sap. Uh, yeah. Sorry, buddy. There you go. Right. The first way is to go ahead and use... Uh, stupid trees, man. The first way is to go ahead and use an ankylo, but I don't know if you could do that on a dead body. Let's find out. Uh, no? Ah, oh, sad. All right, well, uh, we can't go ahead and get... Okay, what about this? No? Ah! Okay, only works on oil nodes, not dead bodies. The other fairly effective way in getting oil is simply to use a pickaxe. 
Uh, yeah, 42 oil. That's actually not too bad. So let's pop one in here. There's a new eggy. And now what we're going to do is hatch it up and wait for it to grow. You guys know how we roll at this point. Let's get ourselves a bunch of oil. Let's get the show on the road. The good news is the cryopod recipe only requires four oil. We've only got enough metal for seven. So seven times four is, what, 28? So we've got more than enough of the beautiful resources we need in order to get ourselves cryopods. So, yeah, we should be pretty good. That Diplodocus up there has got me feeling a little bit uncomfortable. My goodness, I don't like him sitting there. <laughs> I feel like he's trying to dominate the view and trying to threaten me or something. Hmm. Yeah, you better stay up there, buddy. So our base is pretty much slap bang in the middle of the red and the blue obelisks. And I figured that the obelisks might just be the best place to actually make these things. Because then we don't risk losing our resources when these loot beams expire. All right, so we're going to pop on over here. We're going to use it simply to make cryopods. And then we'll be on our merry way. Oh, cool, a quetzal, guys. Oh, it's only level 30, though. Oh, man. Taming a Quetzal on the island is going to be very difficult. We do not have access to the net projectile like we had in our Lost Island series previous to this. Oh. It's going to be a tall task trying to tame one of those in this series. But I do want to try and give it a go just to say that, you know, I've done it. So, yeah. Anyways, for now, though, we are now arriving at the Red Obelisk. And there's absolutely no one here. Hey, beautiful. All right, well, uh, we need to go grab ourselves a whole bunch of our resources here. And just sort of get on with this thing, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, there we are. We can make seven of these bad boys. Sweet! That is going to be a good start for our taming journey. So there we have it, guys. Seven cryopods have been created and things are looking good, baby. Things are looking real good, in fact. All right. Time to go find ourselves a Baryonyx. These guys normally hang around swamps, so I'm sure if we find ourselves a swamp, We'll find a Baryonyx in good time. Hey! Hey, guys, check it out. There's a Baryonyx. It's level 140! Holy guacamole! All right, well, uh, I do believe it is time to see if we can do this thing. Buddy, I'm literally in your territory. You're supposed to... Oh, God, yep, now he hates me. <laughs> okay. Uh, buddy? What? Why? You should be coming after me. Maybe, alternatively, I could just, like, shoot him, and then we can sort of... Go, go at it that way. Okay, here we go. Ah! Uh, guys, the bear trap isn't working. It doesn't work. What the hell, man? What the? The bear trap didn't work. What a load of baloney. Why didn't that work? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Come, 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 come here, come here, come here, buddy. Ah! Oh no. Uh, guys. What am I to do? I'm not, I need this guy to come over here. There we go. Okay. Right. Uh, this guy's can duke it out down there for a bit. I can only assume, because according to the wiki, the Baryonyx can indeed be immobilized by a bear trap. I can only assume that there's a bit of a sort of warm-up. Like, there's a certain amount of time the trap needs to be down for before it actually sort of activates. I can only assume that is the case. I just don't know. Right. I need to do something here. I need. I have to take out this Diplodocus. I'm sorry, buddy, but I gotta do it. All right? If I don't do it, then it's only gonna get in the way, all right? But once this guy is out the game... We might have a slightly better time in terms of trying to tame that Baryonyx in peace. All right, Alyssa has more health. So that means we're going to ride Alyssa while we're trying to tame this Baryonyx, okay? Uh, the Baryonyx is just down there, by the way. All we need to do is try to tame it, ideally on the land. Uh, so, buddy, that is your cue. What the hell are you doing here? Get out of here, man. I don't need no over raptors. Hello, are you going to come after me now? Come on, buddy. All right, another three bear traps. We'll place them down and just sort of hope for the best, I guess. All right, let's try this again. We'll put one there, one there. Wait, what? Pick it up. What do you mean, pick it up? I'm trying to, I'm trying to use it. Hey. Eh? Oh. Okay, uh, I was right. There is, in fact, a sort of warm-up. 
Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Well, I don't know what this guy's doing, but right now, it's going to go down. <laughs> I don't entirely know how I'm going to get this guy up here. I'm kind of hoping that if I get rid of this rock, I can maybe get this guy to follow me. Buddy? I'm so confused. Like, what is this guy doing? Hey! Uh... Well, I hope that this lasts a good amount of time. Oh, no, it doesn't! It does not! It does not! It does not! It does not! It does not last a good amount of time. Okay, right. Let's see what happens, eh? Let's see what happens. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come back up. So confused. This guy is just acting so weirdly. Ah, I didn't anticipate this part. What am I supposed to do here? It's in its running away phase, but I know for a fact if I was to go ahead and knock it out now, I'm not entirely sure it's going to survive underwater. What would happen if I got rid of this rock? I feel like death and destruction would happen. Ah, oh, this was supposed to be a nice simple tame using some different methods, but uh, yeah. Make the most of it! Make the most of it! Make the most of it! Come on! This guy was running away, right? Oh, it's down! It's done! It's done, ladies and gentlemen! Finally! Right! It's time. We need some fish. Stat. Alrighty, so we've got the taming tracker on as well, so we can keep an eye on its unconscious meter. It is, of course, going down, so that means we need to get ourselves some fish. Hopefully pretty quick sharp here. Probably the easiest place to get it would be this little pond that is coming up right in front of us. There is usually a mass amount of coelacanth in there. Yeah! Yeah! Give me all the fish! Give me! Give me all the fish! Come here, buddy. Come here. Stop trying to get away. There you are. There you are. You're slightly dead. I don't actually... Oh, God, that's a Hesperornis, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't actually want to try and take that guy out, but apparently we we may be. You know what? I can't be bothered. I'm just going back to base. Upon taming, of course, if the Baryonyx has not been damaged by anything, it should be level 200 plus. Level 210, if my maths serves me correct. Maybe 209, perhaps. Here you go, Baryonyx. Have some little fishy bits. Hey, there we are. 36%, 48%, about 12% per fish. 72%, 84, 97, and... Yeah, of course, you had to stop there, didn't you? Ah, you son of a gun. All right, shouldn't take too long, my friends. But uh, yeah, there we have it. We're going to have a level 209 Baryonyx. Not a bad start, if you ask me. And certainly worth all of the heartache before. There we are. Baryonyx has been tamed. Feeling good. It's a male one. I mean, there's only really one name for this guy, isn't there? It's it, It's got to be this. Barry. There you go. <laughs> hey there, buddy. How's it going? Let's give you a, a saddle. And there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Baryonyx. Fantastic. Coming in at 4,200 health, 1,200 stamina, 355% melee damage, and 120% movement speed as well. Decent. Very decent, my friends. On these guys, I typically like to buff up their health and the melee damage, and that's just about it, really. Uh, but yeah. All is looking well, my friends. We now have the ability to go cave dwelling with absolute ease. Like, seriously, these guys are fantastic as cave dwellers. They can take out all of the bugs with ease. It's just ridiculous how amazing these guys are. So, there we have it, my friends. We do, of course, have the comments of the day to do before we wrap up today. So, let's get that done. So, here we are wrapping up the episode, my friends. Roy Denley says level weight and melee on Abe the Ankylosaur. Melee will get you metal faster, but Abe will stop auto-harvesting once he gets closer to max weight. Yeah, there's actually a few of you guys who went ahead and uh, told me about going ahead and uh, leveling up the melee on Abe. So, yeah, if we manage to get ourselves a whole bunch more levels up on Abe, then that is what we're going to do. This guy right here, my friendos. In fact, there we are. We do have a couple of levels up. So, uh, melee damage. Boom and boom. Increases it by about 16-17% per time. So, if we get ourselves a bulk of levels up for this guy, 
We'll have ourselves a ruddy good metal harvester, hey? But anyways, thank you very much for watching, my friends. That'll just about wrap it up for today. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode or you learned a thing or two, I would very much appreciate it, of course, if you guys would head down below the video and drop a like. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.